I will have probably covered how to do this somewhere in a video I've done in the past on textures, but it's worth having a video specifically on this if anyone needs to find how to do this. And it's all to do with when you're applying a texture to a model and the scale of the texture is completely off. It's how you fix that really. It's pretty simple to do once you've been told. It's one of those things that stick. So as an example, I'm gonna use cloth. So we're gonna model up an IPT. Uh, I could have started with a pre-existing model, but you might want to follow me. You might want to follow, right? So we're going to go for a cre uh, cre form. <laughs> we're going to go for a free form plane, and we'll go, say, 150 uh, with six faces and the width 150 by six faces, and we'll bang that on the XY plane in the middle and then hit okie dokie, right? So this is going to be a bit of cloth. At the moment, it's a nice flat. Mary Poppins could have ironed this, you could say, bit of cloth. And so we need to make it more cloth-like, a bit more clothy. So let's edit the form. Let's pick some random points and just start pulling it up so it, it you know it's wavy it's wavy like cloth type of a deal so let's go for maybe that and then i'm just sort of picking it random here let's pull all this down there you go it's a bit lumpy ah oh, well lumpy's good lumpy's good all right it looks pretty clothy to me <laughs> it could be cloth and uh, we'll finish that free form and we'll thicken this out by how thick's cloth i don't know how thick cloth is uh, 0.5, I don't know, can't, I don't know man, I don't know how thick cloth is, I don't know, 0.5, and then we'll right click on the thicken in the browser, and uh, why is the visibility gone, uh, get off, right click, uh, oh no, we want to go on form, and then uh, turn off surface visibility, not thicken, you can't hide a thicken, uh, and there's our cloth, right, so at the moment it's just grey, so we need to put a cloth texture on this, which will import like an image tile onto the model, and then it'll be wrong, it'll be too, the, the texture size will be too big, so that's when we need to edit it, and that's kind of the point of this. So first things first, drop down this texture bar at the top, right, it's the, the one on the right, that's materials, this is texture, and make sure you've got the Autodesk appearance library ticked, as long as you've got that ticked, go into uh, this button here, right, this is your appearance manager, you, you could call it it's browser, but I don't like the word browser for some reason, and then we need to find a clothy texture. This method will apply to any texture, whether it be bathroom tiles or wood or metal, anything, it, it's all the same. So we're going to do a search for leather, right, and then press return. And you can see it's returned quite a few textures here, which could apply. They've probably got leathers in the key, leather in the keyword somewhere in here. So let's say light brown. Let's make it a nice sort of uh, jag 80s Jaguar leather type of a deal. So we'll right click on that and we'll add it to the document materials. So this downloads that texture from our style manager, which is, it, it's a different story for a different day. I've done a video on that if you want to go and check that out. Uh, but it downloads it into this part file, so we can manipulate this now without editing other parts that might use this texture. Right click on that and go to edit, read. And this is where things started getting infuriating, and I wish for I wish for my life, Autodesk would sort this out. This is infuriating, I mean, come on. What what was that about? <laughs> what was that about? You, you you right click on this, you go to edit, and then it just throws the dialog box behind, and then even though it's in focus, it's behind that. It's, it's, it's infuriating, and it happens more often than it should do. Anyway, so this texture uses a a, a PNG, or you could call it a bitmap, although it's not a bitmap, but it applies this tiled texture to the model. And it's also got a bump map with it as well. So the bump map gives you that kind of grooved appearance, which is which is good, which is good. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply this to the model and see what it looks like just straight without any editing. So we're going to select the texture drop down and we're going to go to, uh, what was it called? Light brown, wasn't it? Light brown, uh, light brown, light brown. There we go. So you can see the texture is way off. It's pixelated. The image size, the texture size is probably kind of this big. That's how that's how big the actual bitmap is, or the PNG, uh, and you can see it's just totally vanished. You know, the model is just it, it needs to be smaller. The texture needs to be smaller, is what I'm trying to say. So we're going to go back into the appearance browser, and then we're going to right click on the texture again, go to edit, and then we're going to click this tile button here. Fuck uh, oh, that love of God. Uh. This is infuriating. So it's throwing this, this texture. This is where a lot of people probably get really good. Hey, what the hell, Autodesk? What, what's, what's this about? Seriously? Never mind, never mind. Right, so you get this texture editor 
panel thing pop up, which is pretty simple to use. You've got this sample size at the bottom, and you can see that our sample size is 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters, so it's a foot by a foot, and our model was 150 by 150. So you can see how the model is just, it's only really utilizing this part of the texture, so that's why it looks pixelated. So what we can do is we can reduce the sample size of the texture, essentially reduce the texture size. So we can drop this down to say maybe uh, eight, centimeter no probably smaller than that let's go five centimeters uh, by five centimeters if if this texture isn't a perfect sort of square then it'll, it maintains the aspect ratio uh, so it's 5.08 by 5 but don't worry about that it's fine and then we can just close this uh, there's no okay and apply button on there just because uh, things we, we don't like consistency around here we don't like apply and okay buttons on our, on our dialog boxes who, who needs them just shut it down and assume that it's going to save <laughs> right, and then you do the same thing on the bump texture, right? You click that there, and oh my god, this is this is trying me. This is really trying me. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. This is trying me. And then we're going to change this sample size also to uh, five by five point zero eight. Again, no OK and cancel. We're just going to close that down, and then click apply on this, and then cancel. <laughs> Because again, consistency is key. And then when you zoom in, you can see that the texture is now much, much smaller. Uh, it could still be a little bit too pixelated for your liking. If that's the case, all you do is you just go back into the texture and then change that sample size again to be something which you are happy with. Oh my God, this is inf I'm not going to lie, it's infuriating. So we'll change the sample size down. Let's half it again. So let's go. It, it, just even highlighting this number is infuriating me. So we'll change that down to two. And then uh, we'll go back. What? What? Where? Oh, that! <laughs> oh my God! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, deep breaths, Neil. Deep breaths. This is like it's like bloody dialogue box Jenga. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Right. To come on. Let's just just see this through. Let's see this through, and I'll lose me shit afterwards. <laughs> Can you see how ridiculous this is? Moving these around the screen. Oh my god. Right, so that's dropped down to two centimeters. And that's that's good. That's a good texture size. I'm happy with that. And if you're thinking to yourself at this point, it looks a bit looks a bit boring, doesn't look very clothy. Well, that's probably because we we haven't got the you know visual style over to realistic. That applies the bump map now. So the bump map is now in effect. You can change this to perspective, you can then turn on the shadows, uh, which isn't you know, it's actually the shadows working in that orientation, which isn't right. So we're going to, uh, let's click the right side of the cube and then set that as front and that puts the ground underneath the cloth. And then we can uh, change this over to say two lights, for example. And then there you go. There's your cloth. You can see that's kind of shiny now. You can see the, you can see the bumps in the grain of the leather better uh, when it's set to two lights. But that's how you change the size of a texture if you need to when you put it on your model and it's too big and that applies for metal woods plastics anything else that's got a texture in the bump map and then once you've uh, once you've got the hang of that and you're quite comfortable with you know figuring out how to get the texture to look right on your model that's when you can start changing the type of tile that you're using here so you, you essentially i've done a video on this already but i've covered this in its, its entirety but if you click this and go to the uh the the path which is see program files x86 common files autodesk shared materials textures uh, you can browse a massive library of textures and then make your own you can kind of make your own here apply your own bump map to it and your own uh, your own image texture if you want to that's if you can just that's if you can stomach using this appearance browser it's 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 awful it's really awful makes you want to self-harm all right that'll do it for this one thank you very much uh thank you very much to everyone who's supported the channel on patreon so far and everyone who signed up for a free trial for my training over on plural site uh much obliged and uh thanks for everyone as well for the support in the last video after uh, i found people copying my content and lifting it to their own channel and if you're doing it if you're watching this video and the channel name isn't tfi well then you've been duped you've been hoaxed mate you've been hoaxed the channel's tfi uh www.tficard.tips yeah i've got my own domain man i've got my own domain but you didn't know that read right then thanks very much and i'll see you in the next one toodles